When diagnosed with leukemia, Victoria Webster faced the hardest decision of her life. She was heavily pregnant and was told she should have an abortion and begin chemotherapy. The alternative was to have Jessica and risk her own life. I just could not abort the baby at all because I knew she was already there. And um, I'm obviously glad that you know, I didn't go through it because look, she's absolutely perfect. Um, but I just knew in the back of my mind that she's a fighter and she was a fighter, you know, and my mum's a fighter as well, so... Come on in, Lou. See how far you can get. While pregnant, Victoria's cancer of the blood was instead tackled with a milder treatment. Her blood was drained and washed in a special machine before being pumped back into her. Ignoring the doctor's advice was a huge risk. I mean, they said when that she was first born as well, that she might have um, stunt growth or there might be problems with her. She might not be 100% perfect. They said the... Um, the cancer that I've got won't pass down to her. It's not hereditary or it won't pass to her. Um, but they did say they don't know what she'd be like when she was per, uh, born. But if you can say, there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Victoria is responding well to treatment and thinks she could soon be cancer free. I hope it goes into remission. I mean, the tablets that I'm on, it should do because they're working at the moment. It's not like gone, it won't ever go, it'll always be there and it can always come back. Um, as long as I take these tablets, I'll be fine. But I hope to be around plenty of years to be a grandpa to my kids. That's all I want. Good reason to cherish every minute with her son and the daughter she nearly never met. Lisa Dowd, Sky News, Birmingham.